Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video, it is going to be a Q&A video. I've asked you guys to ask me questions and I will try to get to all of them. If not, then sorry if I didn't get to your questions because I did ask on Facebook and Instagram and I got a bunch of questions. So I'm going to go ahead and try to answer all of the questions. So we're going to start off... I guess I'm going to do Instagram first. Oh wow, I got 86 questions, so, whoa, you guys really want to know. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and start. Um, Giselle XO wants to know, what's my top five favorite nude lipsticks? I would say I have Gerard Cosmetics Nude um, Vintage Rose. Uh, Buttercup, Max, uh, Myth, um, I need one more, um, oh my god, what is the name of it? I, like, usually wear that one, like, a lot, uh, oh, this one, well, no, really, oh my god, really, you guys got me, you really got me, oh, a 1990 from, from Jar Cosmetics are, like, my all-time favorite. Um, 1995 is not a nude, but it is gives you a, a little bit more of color. So yeah, but I'll think of more and then I'll put them down below so you guys can know which ones I like. Next question is, when did you realize makeup was your passion? I actually remember seeing my mom do her makeup to go to work, and I would just stand there with my mouth open like a dummy and love the way that she would do her makeup, and I was like. Okay, I like makeup. I want to do makeup. But not until like 2008, I kind of started to do a little bit of makeup on myself. And then I got into it. And then I was like, oh my god, I want to do makeup for like, for good. So yeah. Uh, next question is, what's your go-to everyday eyeshadow palette? I honestly don't have a go-to eyeshadow palette. Like usually if I'm... I want to put on some makeup, but not a lot of makeup. I just go with, you guys are going to kill me, my Refresh from MAC. Um, this one is great because it does have like a shimmer side and then it has like a bronze side. So I kind of apply this to my crease and then this to my lid and then apply some lashes and I'm ready to go. Or not even apply lashes, just mascara and I'm ready to go. So this is like a really great product that I actually love. That is my go-to all the time. If you guys see my videos, you guys know I go to this product all the time next question is what camera do you recommend to a new youtuber who has a budget and lighting okay so when i first started doing youtube videos i had a sony camera it was those little tiny ones i don't have it anymore because my husband had given it to me for our anniversary and he sent it to get engraved and it said our names on them but it was a tiny little camera and I had to put a mirror on the back so I can actually see what I was recording. And it was a great camera because it's only like $300, I believe. Or I think they're cheaper now because there's so many cameras. And that's what I used to use to film. And I kind of, if you guys are on a budget, because honestly I am on a budget, I have to like actually get it on credit and then pay as I go. Um... I would think you could want to get like a small little camera. For lighting, I actually went on Amazon or eBay and I looked for the cowboy um, lighting. Those I believe were like a hundred bucks. I think they're less. I'm not sure. I haven't searched them up, but I do have them. Like I don't even use them anymore because I purchased a ring light and the ring light was almost $300. So that's a lot. So it's a commitment to like really spend money on YouTube. All right. Next question. What hair did you use for your black and how you have oh i mean she means what hair dye do you use for the black that you have on now like i've said i've i've answered this a lot of questions i even posted a picture up but i don't know i use the cheapest hair dye you can find i actually go to walgreens cbs um walmart whenever i find the hair dye for 2.99 i always purchase it it is the revlon black hair dye and it says black i think it says black nor something like that and it has a picture of a girl with bangs. That's the black hair dye that I used. Um, my hair, naturally, it is not too light. But I don't really have to be dyeing it that much. So, yeah. And I'll put a picture here for you guys want to see which box I'm talking about. So, yeah. 
uh, uh, Nancy wants to know where I'm from. I was born in Whittier, California. <coughs> so, I wish I was just, yeah, I'm just, I was just born there. Whittier, California, I'm not sure where exactly. But my parents are, my mom is Salvadorian from, I want to say San Salvador, I'm not sure. And my dad is from Mexico, Guadalajara. So, yeah, I had a little mixture of those two. Uh, next question. How did you learn how to do makeup and still can't seem to get it? Um, well, I honestly started practicing on myself. And then I started doing, watching YouTube videos. But really, it was just practice on myself, watching myself um, every day. Uh, do myself, uh, practice on the cookies, practice on what eyeshadows I wanted to do. It was just practice, practice, and I would... I still practice because I still can't get the eyeliner right or my lashes right. I still practice every day. So practice makes good, you know, it works out. It, it, it helps a lot, trust me. You guys want to practice. Look at yourself in the mirror and practice. Before you shower, you want to just look at yourself and practice, practice. Next question. What advice do you give somebody that wants to start a YouTube channel and a makeup page? Thanks, Julie. Hey, Julie. So, if you do want to start a YouTube channel, I suggest you sit down and write the names down of YouTube names that you want. And then round them off into which name do you want. It took me a while to get the name that I wanted. Before, I had uh, my name and my husband's name on there. And then I realized that I didn't want to be known with those two names so I just changed it and it, I don't know it just normally came to me that name so you want to kind of do that and you also want to have thick skin because putting yourself out there on YouTube is really hard you guys I've gotten over the years so many haters so many negative comments so many attacks you have no idea I've cried you know I feel sometimes I want to give up and be like you know what screw this I don't need this it is hard. You need to have thick skin. I believe over the years I've grown, I've gotten thick skin, but it takes, takes time. And some comments sometimes do get to me, and I feel really bad, and I'm thinking, like, why would people even write that to me? Like, I don't even write bad comments to anybody. Like, if I don't have nothing nice to say, I don't say it. So I don't know why people would do that to me. But you must really have thick skin, and, you know, good luck if you do start your channel. Next question, oh, I think I moved it while I was talking, oopsie. What do you do to maintain your health, your hair healthy and so shiny and pretty? Honestly, you guys, I have put my hair through hell, like I bleached it, I dyed it so many times, so many colors. I don't know, my hair must love me so much, I don't know, for some reason. I do um, apply a lot of coconut oil onto my hair. Um, I do mask of coconut oil, just grab organic coconut oil and put it on my hair, fall asleep with it, and then wake up in the morning and then shower, and my hair feels really good, so that's just it, and then I use the Suave oil, I don't even have it here, I had it here usually, but I don't know where it's at, but I usually just kind of spray a little bit of that, and I'm ready to go. Okay, next question. How do you do it being a mommy with three small children and a wife? Any tips? I kind of try to have some time for myself. Um, well, I my kids are not that small. Junior's three now. Haley is seven and Amy is going to be ten. So practically, you know, I make sure that I have I do whatever I have to do first. Is attend them, you know, feed them. Uh, make sure that they're comfortable, they're happy. And then I ask them, you know what, mommy needs some time for herself. She's got to do a video. They know that I got to do a video. So Junior will pop in sometimes when I'm recording. He'll be like, mama done? Mama done? So he knows when I'm busy and he shouldn't come in here when I'm doing a video. So he'll just stand by the door and look at me and say, mama done? And if I'm not done, I'll say, no, Junior, mama's still not done. Then he'll leave and then come back. But it's, I don't know, I guess I've done it so long since they were little. They know. So they're used to it. So they know that, you know mama is doing her job she's doing videos she can't right now so yeah so i guess they're just used to it another question is can you start doing blogs 
you guys I've been wanting to do vlogs I just can't seem to get myself to hold a camera and walk around with it I feel so stupid like people look at me even though I shouldn't care because I honestly don't care what people think or say about me or anything but it's really I don't know I feel weird and then I, and I don't really go out anywhere I just usually stay home and don't do anything like if I go anywhere I'll just walk to the store because it's like by my house and the only times I do go out is with my sister and we just actually just go out and eat and then come back home and kind of be lazy and watch scary movies so we practically really don't do anything and on the weekends it's rare that we actually do something but I still feel kind of weird but I will try to do some vlogs for you guys next question is what motivate you to get up every day to do what you do and she hashtag I love you love you too I uh, I don't know if I can have him say it. Lee Christie with triple Y. Um, well, I mean, sometimes I don't really want to get up from bed. I just want to be lazy all day. But having three kids, you have to motivate yourself to actually get up and do what you need. Yes. What is your favorite food? Let's see. Well, since ever I can remember when I was small, I've always loved enchiladas. Enchiladas are my favorite. And I'm not going to say enchiladas de pollo because no, me don't like enchiladas de pollo. I like the enchiladas de queso. Like those are the cheese ones are like... Um, before I could eat like four and I could only eat like one for some reason. I don't know. But if you give me a plate of mole with arroz, you better give me a second plate because I love my mole. Yep. So mole and I want to say enchiladas too. Next question, it says, I've been watching you on YouTube for so many years and you have shared your family with all of us. How do you keep your marriage so strong for so many years and how do you balance life creating makeup videos and still balancing life as a mother with your cute kids? And that is like a really good question, you guys. I've been married for over... Okay, sorry, my camera died. So I've been with my husband for the past 11 years and I mean I'm not going to say it hasn't been easy because it hasn't been easy. It's really hard. You have, to, you have to have a lot of communication and a lot of patience because it is definitely really, really hard. I've just tried to have a lot of communication with him. Um, we try that if we get into like an argument or something, we try to kind of work it out and as soon as we can because if we don't, it just kind of escalates to getting worse and it just gets brushed off and then we kind of just don't talk about it. And I don't really like having arguments and not really talking about them after because I, I feel like the issue is still there and it's going to stay there until we actually have a conversation. So you really want to have communication. We try as much as we can to make time for each other um with the three kids it's really hard because everybody wants a little piece of attention from him like because he's always working so everybody wants a little piece of attention so i want my attention the girls want their attention junior wants his attention and then they're all jealous and then they all want attention so it's just hard so we try to put the babies to bed like at nine definitely junior is like he's on his own schedule he falls asleep whenever he wants to so i have to share him after the girls go to sleep then i get to spend some time with my husband we get to talk and watch our shows or whatever we like to do and we just you know spend some time so it's really patience communication you know because it's hard guys i'm not gonna say i haven't thought about calling it quits but then i think about the kids and i'm like i can't do that they don't deserve that so I kind of try to keep a positive mind and have a lot of, you know, conversations with him. Whew, you guys. Let's see, another question. How, this one says, how do you balance mommy life and work, MUA life, and what does your son think about it? Say when you have a new look. Um, like I said, I always try to do whatever I got to do in the morning and then I try to do my videos like in the afternoon After that I try to go and finish cleaning up pick up again because having the kids out in summer vacation It's non cleaning vacuuming that living room cleaning washing dishes cleaning cooking cleaning breakfast It's just a non-going thing 
so I try to do my videos and then I try to go and attend to them um, make them a sandwich a snack you know go wash dishes a little bit kind of clean up the kitchen clean up the living room you know watch a little TV with them you know play with them for a little bit then when it's time to dinner dinner and then bedtime for them and then at night when the hubby's not home yet I try to edit videos and then you know kind of spend some quality time and then start over the next day so it's a pretty busy hard I'm not gonna say it is really hard it's just that you gotta find make the time and schedule yourself to what you gotta do all right next question it says what do you recommend cream or powders to contour Honestly, you guys, I'm not going to lie. You guys have not seen me do any of those cream contour videos or anything like that because I think I don't know how to do that. I'd rather just kind of bronze up my face a little bit, contour a little bit, you know, with a bronzer. But no creams because I feel like that's way too much. I've tried it and it looks freaking crazy on me. So I'm like, no, I'll pass. So I want to say powders. What was the... What was what inspired you to get into the makeup artistry world and how long have you been doing it well i saw that my friends were doing it on youtube they were all doing videos and i'm like you know what maybe this is kind of pretty cool you know it would be fun to kind of upload videos and for my friends to see them i was actually just thinking my friends would see them and i've been on youtube since 2008 but then i switched my name and then i i it said from 2009 but i've been on youtube since 2008 it's been a while you guys it's been a while yeah and it's just that i just wanted to have fun and have some time for me and kind of do my makeup and kind of just show makeup that i had i remember doing videos with a little bit of makeup that i had before so i've right, been questions. on so the question was, how are you losing and maintaining your weight would be very helpful because like you, I love tacos and she posted a bunch of emojis of junk food. <laughs> well, it is really hard, you guys. Like at first, I didn't really care how, how I looked or my weight was. Like I really didn't care. But then I started feeling really heavy and I was feeling unhappy. So I kind of started working out. I will be doing a separate video on that because I do want to talk to you guys about that. Um, I have been working out, like I said, so I will be doing a video. But I'm not eating tacos that much anymore. Like I eat it maybe once a month maybe. But then I think about it like I have to work out the next day because that's a lot of grease. But I love tacos too, my God. So I will be doing another separate video on that. This one is in Spanish and it says, ¿Dónde naciste? ¿Eres latina? ¿Cuántos años tienes? ¿Hablas 100% español? ¿Qué cantante te gusta? ¿Qué actor te gusta? ¿Qué color te gusta? ¿Cuántos hijos tienes? ¿A los cuántos años te casaste? ¿Cuál es tu comida favorita? Hay muchas preguntas. Ok, so la primera pregunta was, ¿Dónde naciste? I was born in Whittier, nací en Whittier, California. Um, ¿Eres latina? Claro, latina, 100%. ¿Cuántos años tengo? Acabo de cumplir 28 años. So, ya voy para mis 30. Oh my God. La otra pregunta fue, ¿habla 100% español? Más o menos aquí hablo el español. Um, sí lo entiendo y lo hablo, pero hablo más el inglés porque en mi casa se habla más inglés que en español. So. Uh, pregunta qué color te gusta mi color favorito es el rosado y la turquesa son los colores favoritos no sé por qué uh, cuántos hijos tengo uh, tengo tres hijos tengo dos niñas y un niño y, y a los cuántos años te casaste bueno tengo con mi esposo desde los 16 años y me casé con él a los 21 años me casé con él So, tengo seis años con el casado. Seis años. Uh, ¿Cuál es tu comida favorita? Ya habíamos hablado de esto. Mi comida favorita es mole y enchilada. All right. Next question is: Are you thinking about having more kids? No. Uh, well, I'm not planning to have any more kids. But if God wants to send me another one, then I would be happy. 
but honestly we have talked about it and honestly we do not want to have any more kids uh, it says, how many tattoos do you have? What are, were they painful? Any advice for people wanting to get tattoos? I do have tattoos. I will be doing a separate video. I actually want to just finish um, getting what I want to get. And then I kind of could do the video because I find it kind of like, oh, I don't know what, what to talk about because I didn't finish it. I just want to finish what I want and then I will be doing a video on that. But I think I believe I have like 10 or 11 tattoos. I'm not sure. And if you want to get a tattoo, I want to say get something that means something to you. And look it up on the internet. Make sure it's what you want. And make sure you find a good um, tattoo artist. Because I've gotten tattoos from a tattoo artist that some of my tattoos I'm embarrassed about. Next question is... Um, how do you find time to do YouTube videos with three kids and a husband at home, etc.? We already had gone through that, so yeah. Uh, let's see. In Spanish, amo tus extensiones de. Alright, next one is. If I will ever do a husband tag. I don't know. My husband got a new job, so he is like a 8 to 9 so he's working from 8 in the morning to 9 at night so it's pretty much hard and then sometimes on Saturdays he works for three hours and so we just kind of want to go out and relax because since he's working from 8 to 9 we're always home and we're like not doing anything waiting for him to get home so I don't know I might ask him to do a video with me let's see what he says because honestly I don't know if he likes being on camera uh, next question when and where is your next meet and greet the last time I had a meet and greet was actually when I was pregnant of junior a day before my baby shower I actually had a meet and greet it went well I mean not a lot of people went but no you know what I had one here in LA and I had one in North Carolina so that was awesome I like the you know, I got to meet a lot of you guys, so I don't know. I might set up something and maybe have a meet and greet, but honestly, that I don't think I'm that famous to actually do a meet and greet because I know a lot of people wouldn't go anyway, so I don't know. Let me know what you guys think if you guys would like a meet and greet somewhere. I don't know. All right, let's do another question. Do you have a degree? If you mean a degree by going to college, no. I kind of feel ashamed about it because I don't like now that I think about it because I did kind of start going to college to become a nurse assistant but I really wasn't liking it I wasn't doing it because I wanted to go to school that's what interested me I was just doing it to get the pressure off me of you know graduating pregnant because honestly you guys I did graduate pregnant and um, so I don't know, I just didn't go to college. You can hear Jimmy yelling. I did go to makeup school and I did get my diploma for makeup school. So hopefully that is good enough. I know that I should have gone back to school and done something because now that you know I have my kids, I want them to do better. I want them to be better than me. I tell them, you know what, I want you guys to go to college because I don't want you guys to end up suffering like me, like trying to find out how to get money, you know, how to pay the bills, struggling. You know, I don't like I don't want them to struggle like I struggled, like we've struggled. You know, because I'm not going to tell you guys I'm rich because I'm not. I do not make millions of dollars off YouTube. I, if you, if you guys were to know how much I made, you guys would be like, what? You like should be making more. <sighs> Let's just say that I don't make enough money. Like, it's not even funny. So, let's just move on. Next question is, what is your nationality and where do you live? I want to be an MUA, where should I start? Class? Alright, my nationality is Hispanic. I, my mom, like I said, she's from El Salvador, my dad's from Mexico, and I was born here in Whittier, California, so, yeah. And she says, where do I live? I actually live in LA, so, I live in LA, California, so, yeah. And I really suck at answering questions because my back's already hurting, I'm already tired, I just like, I want to give up. 
but come on we can do this i don't even know how long this video is going to be oh my god all right let's try to do this fast uh i want to be an emmy way where should i start um honestly to me if you want to be a makeup artist you do not need to go to school like literally you don't need to go to school i only went to school just to get that paper that says that i went to school so if i ever wanted to like get a job um i can show them that um when I, after I finished school, I actually went to Macy's to apply and I got hired. I didn't need to have like that a degree that I went to school because honestly, at Macy's, like my whole thing was like, okay, I'm going to get in Macy's and then try to get myself into Mac. Um, but when I worked at Macy's, it was like too much pressure. It, it's all about sales. They don't really care if you know how to do makeup. Anybody that, you could not even go to school and you could still be doing makeup at Macy's. So, yeah, so... I don't know. It says in Spanish, if if I have any brothers or sisters, tienes hermanos o hermanas? Yes, I do. Uh, from me, I have three. I do have my brother, my brother Tony. I have another brother named Ernest, and then I have a sister named Leslie. Um, one of my brothers I don't talk to. We kind of like got into an argument, so we're not talking to each other for like a couple of months now. So it kind of sucks. And my brother Tony actually lives in Whittier with my dad. So he's over there and my sister Lily lives like five minutes away from me So she's always with me when she's on her days off or she gets out early She'll come and spend the time the day with me and stuff and watch scary movies. So yeah, I do have three other brothers and sisters um, What has helped you the most in your weight loss journey? Will you having a meet and greet soon? <laughs> um, I will talk about the weight loss and all that good stuff in another video Like I said because this video is already long and I know it's annoying me grinding my hair, but the I have the fan on so it makes my hair blow and then all these little baby hairs kind of like come to my face so it kind of annoys me but if I don't have the fan on I won't be able to finish this video I'm telling you guys right now okay so another question is in order to become an MUA must you go to school if so what schools do you recommend if any sorry but this camera is getting on my nerves it keeps getting like overheated I have no idea why it's doing that but Okay, so I'm going to just speed it up and try to answer as many questions as I have because honestly, yeah. So the next question is, uh, what is your greatest fear? Do you have any phobias? My greatest fear is to actually, for something to happen to my babies, like I'm always worried about them. I'm always like on them and trying to make sure that they're safe and they're okay and nothing happens. Like, I'm just scared of that now. And my phobia is, I don't know what it's called. That usually happens when I have a really high fever. I haven't had a fever in like since I was little. But I would like be, I guess I'll be sleeping or not. But then I would see the walls coming, they're closing and they're closing onto me. So that's kind of my phobia. So like if I if I see slides with the water slides that you know are in the tunnel, I won't be able to get on that because I'll probably pass out because it's closed. I will like get crazy. I just... Uh -uh. No, I don't know what that phobia called. If you guys know what that phobia is called, leave it down below. Because honestly, I have no idea what it's called. Alright, next question is... Uh, what is your advice you can give to such, have a strong relationship after so many years? Uh, we already talked about that one. Where do you see yourself in 10 years? I am hoping to see myself in 10 years. A great job and a house of my own because honestly uh, we've been trying to save up to get a new house to get a house for us so we can move because honestly i think it's time to make that big commitment and get a new house so hoping that i'm success successful in 10 years uh tattoo another tattoo question like i said i'll do a video for you guys because this will just make it um really hard uh What does your hobby do? You're so pretty, but whatever. Uh, my husband used to work uh, with lawyers before, but now he kind of changed what he's working for, and now he's working with a big uh, camera company. Um, for example, this, camp this company rents out expensive cameras to, like, Pretty Little Liars. They rent it out to them. Um... Empire also a bunch of like movies and shows that come out on TV they kind of go to the set and um, rent them the camera so my husband goes and drives the cameras to them and picks them up and 
takes it to them so that's practically what he's doing and it's actually a better job he gets paid very well now um so it's amazing i really like what he's doing now and he seems a lot more less stressed and he looks a lot more happier <sighs> okay let's see uh why don't you do vlogs or with your husband uh, like I said, I honestly have a boring life. I don't do anything fun. Like, probably a lot of you guys already clicked out and like, fuck this, this bitch is boring. Honestly, I'm not fun. I'm like, well, maybe in person I am, but like, I feel like in camera it's like more like blah. Like, I have to be no bad words. I gotta watch what I say because people take everything that I say so serious and then I could get in trouble for it. Like, it's just crazy. Just, I don't know. Let's move on. Uh, let's see another Etnessy uh, question. This question last night, I read it and me and my husband were laughing and we were, I was like, you know what, baby, I'm not going to be able to sleep tonight because this question is serious. This is like a very serious question, you guys. Okay. Steph, uh, underscore 89, underscore asked, if you had one choice, would you rather never wear makeup forever or not eat tacos for the rest of your life? Mm. And then she put, hope I make sense. Laugh a lot. Love ya. P.S. What's the next act you decided on? See, this is what had me up at 2 in the morning thinking what the F I was going to say. Because honestly, like, how the fuck you expect me to ask that question? Like, the two things that I love so much, you expect me to choose between those. Like, um, I thought about it. Maybe I can just say I'd rather eat tacos. And then I can just, like, use the taco as, like, you know highlighter and shit you know or something like that but then i was thinking i can't eat my makeup i can freaking die i don't know it's like really hard like what would you guys choose like would you rather wear makeup or not wear makeup or not eat tacos what would you guys rather choose like honestly i don't know she got me there you got me there i don't know what to say honestly I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. You got me there. I, I can't answer that question. Alright, next question. Uh, it said, how do you make your eyeshadow pop so good? Are you, the lotero guy is coming? OMG. Like, first it was a paletero and now it's a lotero guy. Like, yes, the day before yesterday we were waiting for the lotero and the lotero never came. And then yesterday three loteros came and now today another lotero came. Like, really, when we need you, you don't come. And when we do need you, no, when we do need you, you don't come. And we don't need you, you freaking come like every five minutes. Like, did I just say that all wrong? Okay. Okay, question from Seraphine underscore GD. Hi Grace, my question is what makes you choose the colors of your makeup? What the sorry of your makeup that you are going to do to wear that day? Do you try to match the colors in what you're wearing? And also who is your favorite YouTube group? group? Alright, so mostly back in the day you guys know I would always match whatever I was wearing to my eyes, and that's practically what made me do like dramatic eyes like whatever I would like buy a shirt and then I would kind of get those colors and try to make a makeup look with that that would kind of make me like make those dramatic looks now it's just like whatever I feel like wearing what I think that most looks good on me that's why I kind of don't do those dramatic looks anymore because I try to do more like those simple eyes even though honestly I think that most people really loved those looks like that's what brought them to my channel is those looks so I am thinking of maybe going back to it, but not sure. But yeah, usually it would be what I was wearing that inspired me to do a makeup look or whatever I think about, like think that I looks nice on me, that's what I would do. Next question. Everybody wants me to do blogs. Why? Okay, so let's see. Uh, so can you do a video on your tattoos? I will do a video on my tattoos after I'm done with all of them. What made you start YouTube? What did your husband think about you starting YouTube videos? What camera do you recommend to YouTubers to start using? P.S. Love you, girl. 
Gloia. I want to say Gloia. That's what it says, Gloia. Love you too, girl. Uh, good question. Um, it's just that I saw my friends do YouTube videos, so I kind of wanted to do something for fun because, honestly, I was just a stay-at-home mom with two kids back in that time, and I wasn't doing anything. So I said, you know what? Let's do this. Let's do videos. So I actually got my husband to get me. First, it was a webcam, actually, from the computer. That's what I used to do videos. And then after that, hubby got me a little Sony pink camera that he got engraved with our name. So that's what I started using. Uh, I kind of forgot what you guys asked. Uh, what did my husband think? So I started back in 2008, like I said, and I just changed my name. And then so it says I, I'm from like 2009. Um, so my husband really didn't mind. He really didn't care. He didn't say anything. He was just like, oh, okay, you know. He really didn't think nothing of it until now he just like tells me oh babe uh, i went to go drop off something and somebody recognized me and told me oh, aren't you pretty miss grace's husband or he'll be at the store and people will be like staring at him and he's like and they'll go up to him and ask him oh you know um do you know pretty little miss grace you know you look like her husband and then you know so they recognize him so he kind of feels like oh you know awkward but at the same time he says that he really likes it because he knows that i'm doing something good and people are recognizing him by me so yeah anyways let's do let's see it says what do you use to edit your pictures and how to get such a good lighting on them i don't edit my pictures i just use my um my my camera from my phone and i'm gonna show you guys if you guys you guys can be able to see yourselves there um, using a ringtone, a ringtone, a ring light, and I sit here kind of sometimes and take the pictures, or sometimes I go by the window from my bathroom and take pictures from there, and it actually just works out. I mean, it looks good. And if I'm gonna use a filter, I use the filters from the Instagram because it's easier, and they're already there, so I don't have to be downloading anything to my phone. And I am trying to pay for nothing because on iPhone you have to pay for everything. Okay, what else? Uh, I think that's about it. Uh, how has your journey been on YouTube since you started? Meeting the ups and downs. How do you deal with so much haters? Would you ever do the husband tag? So everybody wants the husband tag. I'm going to have to ask my hubby about that because he doesn't want to be on camera. But anyways, um, I've had my ups and downs, you guys. I've had I've been bullied on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. I've had people done videos about me, making fun of me, you guys. Like, I think I've been through so much that honestly now it's just like I don't care anymore. You have to get thick skin. Like I am the type of person that cares and makes wants to keep everybody happy. So I'm trying to satisfy everybody. But then at the end I'm thinking, I can't do that. I can't satisfy everybody. Like I try to do things differently on my channel. And honestly, like, I feel like everything that I do is just to go to waste. Because honestly, on my channel, it's like my new subscribers grow, but my views don't. So it's it kind of really matters more about the views and the subscribers. So it kind of sucks. But you have to have thick skin, like I said. Um, really thick skin. Because you do have your ups and downs. And the way that I look at it is like, okay, I might have five people hating, but then I have like... 30 people commenting beautifully about what I did so then I'm like what you guys don't really matter I care about these people I care what they think you know so that's what practically my ups and downs it's really hard you know I've been through so much on YouTube it's just you have no idea I think I've been more I've been through a lot more on YouTube than in real life like in real life I really what I would do well let me tell you guys let's just like get off topic I'm not, it's not something that I'm proud of because honestly now that I'm a mom it's like okay that's what what I, the fears that I have um, at school I would get pushed and you know people would hate me I don't even know why like I'm new here like I don't know anybody why you guys hate me you know and so I got tired of it because people would always always bully me like you have no idea like people it's something about me that it bothered them I don't know um so this girl just just wouldn't stop she just wouldn't stop and I got so mad and I got into a fight with her and I kind of beat her up and a lot of people saw that I had beaten her up so 
people like left me alone they were like oh we're not messing with this bitch because she crazy she'll, she'll beat the shit out of you so so people left me alone then well actually in middle school that was my, my first fight was in middle school some girl was bothering my sister and i got into a fight with her i i'm guessing i beat her up because her mom put her in karate classes so i don't know i don't know what you guys think if i mean i didn't get karate lessons she did after so i'm guessing yeah i beat her up the other one I did, I really wasn't happy about it. I don't like getting into fights, you guys, but if you touch me, that's it. That's, that's done. Don't touch my sister. Don't touch me. Don't touch my mother because that, that is on. I don't give a shit who you are. I, I'll go, I go loco on you, okay? Okay? So, shit happens and I got into a fight. So, people left me alone. That's it. Nobody else ever bothered me. But on YouTube is different because anybody can just stand behind the camera, behind the camera, behind the keyboard and talk all the smack they want. And there's nothing you can do about it. It's like ignore them, block them, that's it. But then they'll make another account and it's just like, you know, never ending shit. But I'm not saying I'm proud of me getting into fights. But I'm not saying you guys should get into fights. But this is what happened to me and people just left me alone, thankfully. You know, and then, you know, I guess you grow up and that's it. <sighs> well, I think that's about it. I won't be able to answer the questions from Facebook because, honestly, this video is really long. I don't even know what the hell is going How am I going to upload this video? But I want to thank you guys again for watching. Stay tuned for more videos. Let me know if you guys really like these kind of videos. I'm actually thinking of doing a live stream. If you guys are interested in a live stream, like where we can actually chat live um, with each other thumbs up let me know down below and maybe we can schedule one you know you guys can help me and schedule one at what time would you guys be home so we can actually do that let me know i love you guys all so much and i will talk to you guys soon bye guys Mama.